Okay, now that you roughly know what the Mobius function is, we'll just take a small little peek or a short little peek at the hat zero and you know, and later the respective other hats minus one and plus one. Okay, so hat zero, as you know, are numbers which are multiple, they contain the positive integers which are multiple of square numbers. So that would make them non-square free. Okay, um, get, the, get the double negative. They're non-square free. If it's square free, meaning that you can't have a square number inside the, the factors. So if it's non-square free, meaning that there's already a square number inside there. So that's what it means, non-square free. Okay, so hat zero is 4, 8, 9, 12, 16, 18, 20, 24, so on and so forth. Okay, let's just pick a number like 27. So 27 is equals to 9 times 3 and the square numbers over here, 3 squared. Okay, um, 32, 32 equals to 8 times 4. So the square number is over here, 2 squared. Okay, so they're not square free because you can identify the square number inside the factors. Okay, so that's hat zero. So, you know, it's, it's really interesting because even from this small little series of numbers, okay, that when we apply the Mobius function or that's inside hat zero of the Mobius function, we can really draw very interesting conclusions. Now, mathematicians have long researched this, okay, and they came out that the probability of a number, okay, and that is the probability from the, the positive integers that when you pick one, it falls inside hat zero is 6 divided by pi squared, okay? And that is roughly equal to 0 0.6097. Now, why is that interesting? Well, that's interesting because for all reasons, pi is inside there, okay? Now, pi, obviously, you, you know, comes has its geometrical, inter, uh, geometrical origins from triangles and circles. But to, for pi to appear in the probability of a sequence which absolutely has no indication of a trigonometry function, okay, I find that is pretty amazing. Okay, now the first 100, so the first 10,000 numbers, okay, that means for the first 10,000 positive integers, okay, that probability would give us 39,207, okay, that is when we multiply by this number over here, but the actual number, okay, actual number, Okay, it's equals to 39,206. Okay, so that's very close. Though I must say, this probability only applies when we take the infinite sequence, okay? Now, that's too much in the realm of mathematics and sequences and series which I'm not familiar with, so I'm not gonna expound on that too much. But six divided by pi divided by two is quite nice indeed. Okay, now the second one is that by looking at it, there's a way that we can kind of draw out uh, another function, okay? Not really another function, but um, another, another way of looking at it, okay? We can label, okay, the, the, the smallest digit of the a first run of n consecutive numbers, okay? So we got n consecutive, consecutive numbers, okay? Meaning like consecutive is like uh, 3, 3, 4, 5. 26, 27, 28. So we got n consecutive numbers and we can take the smallest digit of the first the, we can take the smallest digit of the first n consecutive numbers. Okay, yeah, I think that's fine. So what do I mean by that? Okay, n equals to 1. Now n equals to 1 is obviously 4 because well that's the first digit, okay, 4. Now n equals to 2 meaning that I'm finding two consecutive numbers and I'm taking the smallest digit or the first digit, okay, and that is over here, okay, 8 and 9. Okay, now somewhere later in the series that, you know, I didn't draw it due to the lack of space, you will see a 44, 45, and if I'm not wrong, a 48 and a 49, and uh, yeah, correct, 50. Okay, this is later somewhere in the series. So if it's n equals to 3, okay, now n equals to 3, meaning the, the, the first digit of, uh, of the three consecutive numbers, okay, and that would be, if we can see over here, it would be here, okay? This also appears in hat 0, okay? So I'm writing it out to you now. So that means three consecutive digits, that would be 48, 49, 50, the first run of three consecutive digits, and we're taking the, the smallest digit, which is 48. So when n equals to 3, we, it, we will get 48, okay? And then you go on and so on and so forth, you get 2, 4, 2, 8, 4, 4, and 22,020, okay? Now later, when you go to n equals to 10, okay, the number that you will get is this long number over here, okay? Which I will write it out for you now. 
that's a big number okay now as you can see i hope you're able to visualize the how to say the the longevity if there's such a term point of the mobius function because we are really writing sequences of positive integers, okay? And it really has to span in a long distance for us to draw out any patterns like you'll see later, okay? So when n equals to 10, that means I got a, a first run of 10 consecutive numbers that would occur, or the smallest digit, okay, would occur at the 20, uh, 221,167,422. We are dealing with all small numbers in calculus that I can't find a number. Okay, but anyways, interesting fact, later, n equals to 11, okay? If you would have guessed it, it's equal to the same number. Now, what could that mean? Well, that simply means is that the first run of n consecutive numbers is also the same, it's, it will also be the first run of 11 consecutive numbers. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The 21, okay, this big number over here appears at the first digit, okay? And then, 10 and then it goes 10 consecutive times, okay? But there's also, there's one more at the back. So if this happens for the first time, for 10 consecutive numbers and for 11 consecutive numbers, and that is this number over here, okay? So why is that? Well, has it any use to us? Well, at the moment, maybe not, but it's still an interesting thing to know, okay? That out of this hat zero of the Mobius function, and that is multiples of square numbers, okay? The positive integers, which are multiples of square numbers, Okay, we can identify consecutive runs. Mm, let's see where is their application. Um, I don't really think of one right now, but I'm sure that in the realm of number theory, it could come up. Okay, there's a run of consecutive numbers, and for the, for the time where there's 10 consecutive numbers and 11 consecutive numbers, it would be the same, okay? If I take a major at MIT, I would probably love to look at this thing over here, okay? But as this stands right now, I don't have uh, you know, I'm not doing that right now, but at least I can let you know, okay? And 10 consecutive numbers, 11 consecutive numbers starts at the same first, first time, first number of hat 0 of the Mobius function, okay? So, later hat 1, hat minus 1 and hat plus 1, okay? Help me enjoy it.